Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We'll be covering everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we'll give you guys a first perspective on things. And now we see them today. We got a pretty uh, incredible show for you guys here today uh, that we want to get into. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, this is one of these shows that I didn't, I, I cannot even believe uh, that we're actually producing to begin with you. As you know, as y'all know, uh, John Morant. Uh, has pretty much taken over the headlines over the last two weeks for all the wrong reasons, right? All the wrong reasons. And it's like one thing that's compounding to another thing that's leading to another thing that's leading to another thing. And I think that the number one thing that has happened uh, to John Moran and all of this is that his public image is being tarnished with every report uh, that comes out. And because of all of these various uh, stories that we're hearing about him, it's causing a lot of different people to chime in and give their own two cents. Some people think that Ja, quite frankly, is being stupid. Some people think that uh, we shouldn't be so judgmental about the situation that he's going through because all of us, or a good amount, a, a good amount of us, have been where he's been in terms of, you know, a young guy, you know, trying to uh, a young guy that came into money or whatever it is. So people have been giving their their opinions back and forth, and I thought that. After the the investigation came out that they didn't find any wrongdoing, in, in this case, the Denver uh, police, that I thought that things were going to start to simmer down, although we were waiting to see that final shoe drop in terms of what the NBA's findings were, gonna, were going to be about the investigation, about how he was able to get that tool um, to the club in Denver and all of those things. And some people are speculating that if he, is, in fact, found out, if they the NBA, in fact, finds out that he had it on NBA premises, on in a practice facility, whatever, that's an automatic 50-game suspension. Automatic 50-game suspension. But as the stories have been coming out about John Morant, what we've been hearing uh, is that <laughs> these type of things have been going on for quite some time, but they've managed to kind of keep it, you know, under wraps. Uh, that that there's been so many different incidents that the public has just, you know, absolutely been clueless about. But then last night, coming through the internet, doing some research, a bit of news popped up, um, you know, in my search results that I absolutely couldn't believe. And today we're going to be reading uh, from two separate sources that are talking about a new report surrounding John Moran, and you just will not believe it. Okay, so let me get into one of the reports that I got here from uh, the Daily Mail. Um, basically, it says John Morant, uh, NBA star John Morant was investigated by police for assault after an alleged confrontation with a high school student in Tennessee last uh, September. Memphis Grizzlies guard John Morant was investigated by police for assault after reportedly clashing with a high school student in September. The NBA star has been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons in recent uh, weeks following a wave of controversies, which, which most recently landed him uh, landed him with a suspension for flashing a weapon in a strip club. It has now emerged that Morant found himself in more trouble with police in September of last year. The 23-year-old was investigated for assault for an alleged confrontation with a high school student, according to TMZ. According to a Germantown Police uh, Department report obtained by TMZ, the, the altercation occurred high school in Tennessee on September 22nd at 7.10 p.m. Uh, it continues on. after uh, at, an, at an after-school volleyball game, Moran's sister, uh, Tania, who attends the school, reportedly got into a verbal al argument with another student. Witnesses at the scene told police that the two students had called each other the B, according uh, to report, which prompted Morant's sister to contact the point guard. Morant, uh, Morant, his parents, baby daughter, and a group of adults came into the gym a short while after, according to the report. The majority of the group, barring Morant's father, T, approached the student who had been quarreling with his sister uh, in the stands to confront them, which one of y'all called her a uh, whatever? Morant's mother, Jamie, alleged sa allegedly said. Police said they told her that she cannot come upstairs and confront the students, and they did not need to make a scene at the school. However, while they were talking to her, officers say that one of the men that had arrived in Morant's entourage moved past the police towards the students. Witness claimed that the man slapped a phone out of the hand of a student who had been trying to take a photo of Morant. He allegedly said, I don't care about none of that. I will beat y'all ass. One witness later alleged that the man was about to pull a weapon. However, police say in a report that they did not observe a firearm. 
everyone then left the school without further incident, according to the um, police. And then we. <sighs> Let me give you guys my thoughts on this. First of all, um, I don't know if this is true. That's what the reports say. So I'm going to base my comments on the fact I'm, I'm going to base my comments on um, it possibly being true. Not that it's true. It possibly being true. If it is true, let me say that again. If it is true. This is the most sucker. You know what? I, you know, I, you know, I got to say it, man. We all went to school. We all went to like we all went to school, man. We 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 know we know the bozos in the room, man. We know them. These dudes come up in here, man. Everybody tough, especially when they got a crew, man. We know these guys, man. You seldom see, you seldom see, you seldom see a tough guy by him, a alleged tough guy by him. So you rarely see it. It always is contingent upon who you know, who got your back what you got. It's never based on your knuckle game and just you standing on your own two feet. There's always some extra, you know what? And a lot of guys run around puffing up their chest that way and they move like that and they got this sense of bravado because they know they have all of these things supporting them. This is some... Su if I can follow, if I follow the report correctly, the sister got into an altercation and they said they were both yelling the B word back and forth at each other. Usually the people that do that, girls do that back and forth with each other. I don't want to believe. I just do not want to believe that a group or an entourage came to a school to confront a teenager in high school. That was a girl. And a crew of people, including dudes, went up in there to confront. Where is, is no, is this not the sucker you know what that it is? If it's true. Like, yo, man, I, this is unbelievable to me. If this story is true, it is literally, uh, there is a, if, if it's true, there is no defense for this. There is no defense for it. There is no defense. There's no, he's a young man. There's no, you got to understand. There's none of that going on. There is none of that going on. There's no, we've been 23. A lot of us has been, have been 23 and a lot of us were not doing this. John Moran is not the first athlete to come into the NBA that has siblings. Chris Paul has siblings. Donovan Mitchell. Has, why, don't, why don't we be hearing reports about Donovan Mitchell and some issue with his sister or something like that in college or in high school? Why don't we never hear these reports about other players? Why is it only this dude? So it has nothing to do with being a young black man with money. No, is this dude by himself? If this is a, if, if that was a girl that those, those guys approached. Uh, if this story is true, I'm going to say it once more, if it is true, this is, this is going to go in the Hall of Fame of sucker you know what. This right here is going to go in the Hall of Fame. And if you support it, you a sucker too. It means that you're the type of person that run around with crews that, cannot, that has no knuckle game whatsoever and you be relying on on what you got and people around you. But you on your own too are a coward. On your own too. It's unbelievable. I don't condone any of this if it is true. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. I'm I'm dejected by this story. Catch on on the next one. Peace.